it's in. I like liquid. Secret. Pull this hard camp. Toss it over to the creeps. And if successful, can be a big win for momentum. There it is. The pull comes back. A successful pull on the dire side mid lane. And Pile I Die now struggling to be able to contend with this one. But he can't really do anything. In fact, Kuro is actually going to join forces with Amatu finally. Yeah. And you're going to give Wii the entire lane to begin with. But I think they're okay with that. Although that was a lot. Like you essentially just traded a wave for a wave. You can get a quick level 2 on Kuro, that'll certainly help out when it comes to uh, the time being aggressive. Highlight Dye is going to be able to share in this neutrals, but the last hit. we do have Jarex coming in from behind. Weeha is forced to join his support, but it's going to be a 3 versus 1 here. All they have to do is catch Pi, but Liquid are instead like trying to go with That's a more important kill. And Wee's got really no way out of this one. The Furion's actually going to TP the in. Starts going for Kuro. Kuro is actually going to be the first one here. As Highlight Eye comes back, they only need one more right leg. Right click the bottle. Oh, a little bit more. They will be able to get that first blood. Uh, Weeha draws Liquid away. Success successfully escapes. Wisp had been able to get over that cliff and join Matumba Man on the other side. Maybe that fight could have been a lot different. Misery's well, actually going to go. Oh, oh my god, he actually gets it. Now he's going to be stunned up. He might be combo down as the toss goes back. They should be able to kill Pilot Die here, but they're already putting pressure on to Kuro as Misery threatens him as fast as possible, but can't quite get the kill. Cannot really contest right now. They expected to have a much stronger laning phase, especially with this uh, cute pull trick that they did. They're going to make a go oh, for Wii. They have the haste rune on Kuro. They might be able to run down Wii. They managed to get the toss on him. They have Misery here, but he doesn't have a scrout instead. Oh, the body oh, block might actually kill on too, but still, they have the tether. Kuro, he's going to be glimpsed back. He still has the haste rune for a few more seconds. Can then feel just walk him in, though. Kuro tethers back out, though, all the way over to Matumba Man. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Mind Control is being run down by Puppy, as well as the Clink. Looks like Mind Control He's going to be going in deep for this kill. They might be able to get it, too. Mind Control just needs a little bit more space, but he can't quite hit it. Jarek is here with a response now as Puppy runs out of that Scorched Earth. He should be dying as the right clicks will come in. Curl's going to help get part of the experience. And the small little Doomling start threatening Jarek. Looks like he's going to go for the rotation for this bottom rune. He knows that his line's going to be down here too. And if he gets a good rune, maybe oh, he can do this. The arcane rune isn't quite what he wanted. Jarek is going to be able to get the hex off. Has to TP away and should barely be good. But Weeha, Weeha though, makes up. the kill. Yeah, Weeha's incredibly low, but 7 CS, not the position they really hope to be with this cute little pull that they were doing earlier on. It looks like they might try and fight this one. Pilot Die has the little two clips. clips. Will be able to get Curl. They have the tether out, but it looks like it's just not going to be fast enough. He has to roll through the meatball, which ends in his demise. Now Matumba Man takes a little bit of extra damage off the top as Misery pushes him out. First ravage of the game is so crucial for Tidehunter's cap. Especially with the way that the game has gone in the top. Jarex is going to get doomed. Did not expect Puppy to be level 6. Uh, Sunstrike comes in. It's not actually going to land, but they still have enough damage to kill Jarex easily. They're going to make their way up top, but they don't have any gap closing. And again, Zizri joins them, gives them some meat shields via the Treants, and Mind Control. He gets the Invis rune, but is he actually going to go in there? The Caterworn is laid out. They're going to turn on to Mind Control, but he spotted out the Roach on attempt. He is going to be controlled up by the Sprout. Oh, he and the Roach finish him off, but can they actually get here in time to be able to stop this Roach off? They really need to. This is not one you want to give away, especially to a Klinks who's already done so much damage. But at the same time, if they force a fight here and Secret win it, Secret will still take the Roshan and all that extra gold experience level killing six heroes. Fada's uh, getting kited around. He's being cold snapped up. Eternal Envy gets a couple more pot shots off. A Kuroki is hitting in the back, healing him up. Maybe Puppy is going to tank the uh, relocate instead. He's got so much HP though. 1,200. Plus, he's got backup. I think Secret knows what's going to be happening here. He gets off the score, sir. This is going to be a tough kill kid, especially with Eternal Envy here. They're going to throw the combination. They do successfully kill, but Static Storm is going to be able to control on the top of it. He has nothing left, but Eternal Envy is exposed. He's been hexed up and will be taken out by Fada. Next up, Highlight Die, but he's going to join Force of Misery. The reload came back, actually stays curled, but now they get the close back. The Force still alive. Misery's fighting up against Fada, but he can't quite get that kill either. The Sun Strike misses. And Team Secret, I don't know if they had that planned out. But the, all the plans in the world doesn't stop Liquid from taking that fight. It's the superior laning phase, but Liquid are steadily catching up. They're going to look for mid. But top of man's the target. They're going to try and glimpse him back. Kuro, he's going to go for the relocate save, but it's not in time. And now Kuro 
He may be sacrificed as well as Secret are just going to surround this tier 1 tower. He needs to be able to get a tether target. My control is making his way over for that one. The tether out. Oh, the cold snap is making it too hard for him to be able to get away. The mech comes through, but it's still not enough. The damage from Eternal Envy just pops a squishy wisp, and Secret will rotate from that, taking a tier 1 tower objective straight into the Roshan pit. They've just won back everything they lost earlier, if they can take Roshan. But at the time, Fada is being scattered out deep inside the Roshan jungle by Eternal Envy. This is not the place to be, Fada. He's going to need to uh, save himself somehow with his OD. Oh, nobody's here by enough. He can run in with a Ravage, but he knows. He's backed out immediately. He's like, nope, that is not the play. There's no way they can save Fada. He's just in a bad position. Oh, Envy's thinking about it. Kind of worried that this might be a trap, but... I mean, he, he probably three shots, hits. Kuro. Yeah, maybe not even four. You're right. With the medallion, he's only got two armor. Everybody making their way yeah, over. They're going to make their way over. One, two, three. It is going to be enough. But Tumble Man's now on his way up, but he's going to be glimpsed back. They have a static storm plus the control for the cold snap. Holy cow, that minus armor from Ford Spears plus Desolator makes short work of both the Tiny and the Wisp. Man could have ran into him. They really need a pickoff at this point in time as Matumba Man is stalling out net worth. Yeah. Looks like they might go for the double blink here combination onto Puppy. They do have the final ultimate, but it goes off and it still has enough in for the Doom. Liquid, that was not as planned at all. They were they, hoping to burn the mana, but they gotta go for the Roshan now. Yeah. Secret are just gonna get the numbers advantage too quickly in the fights. The Doom will take one hero out, the Clinks will take the other two out. Oh, Fada is so desperate to try and force this fight, he's gonna start charging forward. They have the relocate coming in, they're gonna try and blow up Puppy before the Doom gets laid out, but it's already put on the curl. They get the glitch back, and oh my oh, god, the Puppy has already gone. They have the second life coming in, but Eternal Levy is just ripping like with a horse. They get the blink back from the OT, he looks like he will escape, but my control is not gonna be as lucky. They still have a glimpse up in two more seconds, but that may not even be required. As we, as well as Misery, jump themselves forward to make sure Mind Control has no hopes of escaping. Liquid successfully blow up the Doom, but uh, Weeha really entered the fights yet. And again, these smokes, well, they're a bit lucky that Misery blinks up the cliff straight into them. We're just about to finish that sentence and say that Liquid smokes have been particularly ineffective. 1100 for them to contend with, so nobody that the Tiny can just blow up instantly. Once again, a double damage on Eternal Envy, right as Liquid are going into the jungle. Eternal Envy's gonna be a scout him out, they're gonna try and blow him up the quick grab, they might be able to do somebody so tanky, and now the static storm! It disrupts everything that Liquid are hoping to achieve. They still managed to kill the Clinks, but it isn't going to be worth it. The fight looks nasty, his hero's already gonna be blown up. He managed to get the Ghost Scepter up for a time being. My control is gonna go on to Misery, and looks like they should be able to get that kill as an anchor smash finish off, but they're sandwiched in. Wait on the right side, Poppy and Pylai die on the left, the nice wall, making sure they go Nowhere in this one, but Tumble Man can't even finish off Puppy. Puppy doesn't even die for this one. And it looked like a really good fight for half a second, but you saw how quickly Clink's killed They throw down a ward right after Tana Ward was laid down. Obviously, Secret won't be able to see it just yet until they move across to the jungle. But when they do see it, They'll know somebody here from Team Liquid was here not so long ago. The Tornado is actually going to be able to catch the Tidehunter. They're going to be able to lock down Mind Control nice and fast. A quick Roshan Bash actually stalled things up, but Mind Control is unlikely to be able to escape. It's a purge. Slows him down long enough. They also have the Glimpse back to make sure there is no hope for Team Liquid. And it seems like contesting Roshan is an impossibility for them. Neither one of them want to drop their items in the full kind of six slotted. Yeah, and right now at Fada at top, he's going to get gone on too. His puppy is going to sandwich him. A blink back, TP away. Puppy doom. needs to be able to get the Doom off, but he will be able to. Fada stop, and Eternal Envy makes sure he stays down. Oh, Kuro oh. came in to try to help. Unfortunately, not the play, as it just adds one more death. Their OD available. They're going to be really hard pressed for this one. Lane of Brax most definitely going to be going down. Eternal Envy pops his BKB defensively here. The Yule Scepter, the combination is going to come out from Weeha and throws down the Ice Wall. Going to Matumba Man who's now stuck against the Kinetic Field as well. Is it going to be able to make the initiation required to make use of those buybacks? They still managed to get a jump in from Jarek controlling up Highlight Dive. They're going to be able to pop him. And that is going to be the gem, so that was worth a bit more, but they need to be able to catch something else. Unfortunately, Puppy already has a BKB, so he just does that and uses the TP scroll to get back to base. Right now, yeah. They've got such an advantage when it comes to just being able to take the team fights and get it and get the numbers going. Fada is going to stick around too long. Oh, he actually gets a blink backwards, but 
The Flames tried to send it back. They do have the BKB, and Liquid will march back a three-man crew. Jerix, he's actually going to be targeted. Has to go up to turn around. Hits the hang on to Puppy. Now the turn around the Ravage, but can they actually take this fight? They're going to go for the throw up on Puppy first. But they do get it with the old deal with the Static Storm. Not enough to control on Plata. They're protecting Eternal Effie as Weeha comes forward with Deafening Blast to help finish off Jerix. He wants to be able to chase down the rest of these heroes as well. Unfortunately, Mind Control stuck fighting up against Eternal Effie. is quite low, but Top of Man, one swing isn't quite enough to toss forward. He gets him in the end. That's a big kill from a tougher man. He still has that Aegis. Team Secret will not turn and fight him. Confident about being able to push out the top lane multiple times because of that one. Mid lane, Eternal Envy. He's actually going to start with a debut the blade on him, a Tumba Man. They're going to go for the relocate out, which will be successful, but something has been used. Still, though, Mind Control being controlled up right now by Puppy with a Doom. They're also going to be joined by Misery, who can right click down Derek, and Mind Control stuck inside the trees will also fall. They're going to be able to get Kuro next up. Yule Scepter, Meteor, Deafening Flash with the Static Storm over the top. Feels like Overkill, but they've taken three of Liquid, so why the hell not? Hey, something so beautiful about Secret's lineup is that with both the Static Storm and the Doom, they have ways to permanently stop the tide. Like, even the Kraken Shell can't really do much against either of those abilities. But Samba Man still got his DKB. He's hoping to be able to actually get on top of Eternal Envy as best he can. The bleed damage oh, doing do okay, so much damage to him. he's actually tanking too much. The OD actually drops the ultimate to the bottom lane. Going for Puppy will be able to get that one kill, but Samba Man is being controlled up, though. They have the old scepter into the Sun Strike. He gets off the double stun. OD needs to help out with this OD Prismate save! Takes out the OD and a Tawambi stays alive! AJ got so well. He might go down, but he gets the ghost walk off. Oh no! They have to go for Weehaw instead, but they can't even get that much. Everyone from Secret surviving on just a sliver of HP. Yolner now finished up for the Furion. Puppies cutting across here, going for Matumba Man. They have Kuro sitting in the side, ready to go with the relocate, but Puppy's actually going to try and stop that one. He managed to get the Doom onto Mind Control, while Kuro can't actually go for a relocate anywhere with BKB used on Matumba Man. That's how Weehaw's going to be able to strike. Mind Control's dead, as the Doom should be able to finish him off, but Puppy goes way forward and will be the turnaround kill. Still, though, they got a two for one. Misery's heading down bottom two. And it looks like Envy is also trying to join him. They just BKB. The they range tracks available. But, uh, oh, Eternal Envy's being controlled up. They need to be able to pop their BKBs to be able to drop Eternal Envy. Looks like Jackie should go down, but the Tumble Man might be the turnaround kills. That Meteor is causing him so much havoc. Team Secret are not being controlled up as Weehaw's BKB lasts long enough for him to be able to get away. Bada jumps forward, going for Pilot Die next. We'll be able to just right click him down while Weehaw dances and dances as Misery is taking the melee racks. This has to be Bada controlling up these two heroes, but he just can't do it. He doesn't have the HP points, and Team Liquid do not have the buyback to be able to support this one. Fada, the only one ready to go with the Wisp and the Tide Hunter. He actually catches Misery here, but Weeha with the defensive Fuel Scepter into the Ice Wall once again. Fada managed to get the imprisonment. Jarek is coming forward, but he's already dropped so low from just extra damage. It definitely flies to finish him off. Weeha says, what's up? Controls one. Gets the other one. Fada is going to be dying for the Sun Strike. Weeha's just styling on them. The imprisonment save from Fada, but a tornado hit for the perfect time into the AMP. Weeha is feeling himself. Oh, he's just going to single-handedly win this game number three for Team Secret. Unbelievable performance by Weeha as he is showing off on the main stage here in this grand final. 14-0 and 11 is the end score for him, but I'm even more impressed by how much Envy was able to accomplish in the way of map control. The amount of farm that he was able to get in the early game just made it so hard.